Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 tips to keep you safe in the modern world. Modern technology is great, but like anything good, there are some people who use it for bad. But there are some great life hacks and tips to stop anything bad happening to you in the modern world. So be sure to watch this video because it might just save your life or prevent something bad happening to you. But first, leave a like and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I'll try to reply. Coming in at number 10, we have manual car lock. We used to all have to manually insert our car keys into our car door locks to lock our cars. But thanks to the invention of the modern car key, we no longer have to do this. That is because it simply sends a signal from your car key to your car's door to lock it. All without you needing to fiddle around with keys and keyholes. Well, despite this being a video of hacks to keep you safe in the modern world, this hack involves not using modern technology. That is because you should never lock your doors via the signal from your key. Criminals can now use remote jammers to block the signal going from your car key to your car's door locks. They then simply wait for you to walk away while you think you've locked your car, but really it hasn't even worked. They can then rob your car or its contents. And as most people leave their house keys and some form of home address in their car, they'll likely rob your house too. So always manually lock your car doors to avoid getting robbed. This may sound uncommon, but it happens all the time. Next up is Facebook scammers. It's happened to us all. We get a Facebook friend request from someone with a hot profile picture and an unfamiliar name. Normally, we just click decline. But they have 28 mutual friends, so they must be fine, right? Well, not always. Sometimes people make up a fake name and take a photo of somebody else, often a hot girl off the internet, to use as their own photo. But how can you tell somebody who's doing this apart from someone who's real who you might actually want to know or know? Well, first right click on their profile image to download their picture. Then head over to Google Images and click the hidden camera button on the search bar. Click on upload an image and select the photo you've downloaded from their profile. Google will then show you all of the other places the photo has appeared online. If there are no results, then it's likely an original image and it's a genuine person. But if there's hundreds of copies, then watch out for that catfish. Some savvy Facebook scammers rotate their profile pictures to prevent the reverse search from working. So be sure to rotate the image and check that one if the first one shows no results. Now you'll never have to worry about getting tricked or catfished ever again. Next up is secret email. Nobody likes spam emails, but we likely all get them. So how do these scammers get your email address? Well, a lot of the time, it's from when you post your email address on websites like forums. For example, you might say to someone, contact me using charlie at gmail.com typing the at symbol and the dot for dot com. But the way you should type your email address is by typing the words at as at and the dot as dot for dot com instead of the symbols. This is because people who spam your email use programs to find your email online. They use things like the at symbol and the dot for dot com symbol to do this. And if the program doesn't pick that up, it won't be able to tell its email address and won't add you to their spamming list. This has been proven to reduce spam emails a ton because they just don't recognize your email address. I should really try this one out myself as I get so much spam. Say goodbye to waking up with a thousand emails in your inbox with this amazing tip. Next up is kids photos. We all like taking photographs of our kids and posting them online. It's nice as you can share their experiences growing up with friends and family and of course look back at them when your kids are all grown up. But unfortunately, there are some bad people in this world. And this means you should never share photos of your kids online, especially not with any information to identify them. Lots of parents fall victim to this when posting back to school photos. This information can be used by predators very easily on social media. Also, be sure to never check in on Facebook at your kid's school, as this can also be easily used by predators. In one instance, a predator posed as a friend of a kid's mom and tried to take them. Luckily, they were stopped, but not everybody is that lucky. So, don't not take photos of your kids, but be mindful about where you share them. Next up is USB virus. We all know computers can get hacked very easily, but what if I told you the same is true for our phones? Most phones come with a USB data cable. This means the USB cable can charge your phone and can access your phone's data too. For example, when you plug your phone into your computer, you can see what pictures are on it. Well, if you ever charge your phone on a public computer or a public charging port, hackers will be able to access your data if you use a USB data cable. They can also install viruses on your phone to see your camera and track everything you type. But there's a super cheap and simple way around this. That is to buy a charge-only USB cable. You can pick one up for about $1 and it will prevent your phone from ever getting hacked. 
Now, you won't ever have to worry about getting hacked, and you can charge your phone using any public USB or computer without worrying about getting a virus. Be sure to get this awesome invention which can really save your phone. Next up is two-way verification. This is a super common and simple tip, but it's one that a lot of people don't use, don't know about, or don't understand. When you log into an account, you're asked for a username and a password. This is fairly insecure though, as anyone who knows these can easily access your account, and hackers can easily get this info. But one thing they can't get is your phone, because you physically own it. So, two-way verification is where you need to enter a username, a password, and then a code texted to your phone. This works great, and is super secure. The way to set this up is to go into settings, and click two-step or two-way verification, and then enter your phone number. They even give you a few codes in case you ever need to log in when you don't have service. This is an awesome feature on most apps and websites that people probably don't even use. So, definitely turn this on, as it could save your account one day. Next up is fake ATM. We've all heard stories about fake ATMs before, and maybe we've even fallen for one as they're so common. But there are a few clear giveaways that the ATM you're using is fake. First is if there's a loose, spongy, or thick keypad. This often means a fake keypad has been laid on top of a real one, as the metal keys should be hard and firm because they're, well, you know, made of metal. Another thing to look out for is stickers. Some criminals will install snooping cameras to see what your credit card information is. They use tiny cameras and then cover them up with tape or stickers. So be sure to check for them before pulling out your card. And lastly, be sure the card slot is not loose or bulky. This again means something has been laid over the top of the original card slot and is stealing your information. So be sure to check for these clear giveaways and any other suspicious things before using an ATM. It may seem like a lot to do, but it could save your whole account from getting wiped. Next up is sensitive information. Every now and then, we have to enter sensitive information into a website. Whether it be banking details, medical details, or usernames and passwords. It's fine to do this, but you have to make sure of something first. Check the URL of the website. If it starts with https colon slash slash, then it's fine. But if it's just http colon slash slash without the s, then watch out. Try adding the s, but if that doesn't work, avoid that website. This is because with HTTP, the information goes from you via a server then onto the website. But with HTTPS, this goes straight to the website. This will cut out the middleman and encrypts the info. This means cyber criminals can't hack into it and will not be able to see what's been typed. So always make sure important websites are using HTTPS. Another way to see this is if there's a green lock in the URL bar on Google Chrome. This is another sign of trust and security. Next up we have free Wi-Fi. Have you ever been outside and wanted to post a photo to Instagram? But there's no mobile data. Well, that doesn't matter, just use one of these free Wi-Fi hotspots. How handy, right? Well, not always. Sometimes, these public Wi-Fi hotspots are set up by hackers who can use the Wi-Fi you're connected to in order to hack into your device. Sometimes, hackers will even call their Wi-Fi networks things like McDonald's or Starbucks to trick you into thinking it belongs to a company. But even the real Wi-Fi networks of places like McDonald's and Starbucks can also be hacked. This is because they're out in the open for anyone to use. One company even did an experiment where a 7-year-old girl with no hacking knowledge hacked people on a public Wi-Fi network. It only took her 7 minutes, and she learned how using a YouTube video. So avoid public Wi-Fi hotspots if necessary. Next up is the perfect password. We all know you shouldn't make your password something like password or your name, but even passwords some people think are okay often aren't. But there are 5 simple steps to achieving the perfect, ultimate, almost unhackable password. First, start with an 8 letter word, like frazzled for example. Then capitalize the first letter of each syllable. Then replace a letter with a number. And then replace another letter with a symbol. Then tailor it to the website by adding something like FAC for Facebook. Now you have a super secure password that no one can hack. Be sure to try this method out on all of your accounts to make them a lot safer. Of course, as I said before, a password isn't as good as two-step verification, but it is still good to have a strong password, as leaked passwords are the main way people get hacked. So be sure to use this tip and the other nine on this list for ultimate safety and security in the modern world. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you can vote for the best tip to keep you safe in the modern world. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.